G'day, RG Badger Crew. I hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, today we're going to take a look at how to install a SIM dashboard on your tablet devices to create a button box or a instrument cluster. Now, I have both set up. I've got the two devices here. Now, if you're running anything other than Android, meaning if you're using uh, iPhone or whatever it may be, this won't work. So do not watch any further unless you plan on getting yourself some cheap Android tablets to do this with. So with all that said, this was um, suggested to me by one of the guys over on my Discord channel. And I thought, why not? Let's put a video together to show people how I've set it up. It's quite simple, so hopefully it won't be that long a video. It'll be quite quick, and we will see how I've got this set up. And again, like I say, it's very simple. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a uh, thing called Sim Dashboard Android app. All right? Now, like I say, I've got this set up as a button box. I've got this set up as a uh, instrument cluster. On this well, this one is just your standard seven and a half inch Android device. This is actually a Kindle, Amazon Kindle. Now, it doesn't have Play Store. You're going to need Play Store on your device if you're using a Kindle to download the app from Play Store. Now, I'm not going to go through how you can put Play Store on uh, Kindle. I will just show you this. Bear with me. Okay. If you go to Google and you type in Google Play Store on Kindle Fire, you will find a heap of tutorials on how to do it. I'm not going to show you how to do it because these guys will explain it better than I can. So if you want to put it on your Kindle, if you want to be able to uh, have SIM dashboard on your Kindle, just type that in, Google Play Store on Kindle Fire. Okay, simple. Simple. All right, now, so the first thing you're going to need is the PC application for SIM dashboard. I will leave a link in the description below from where you can get that. You will need to scroll down the page. That's, oops, so that's SIM dashboard. Don't click on get the app yet because we don't want that yet. We want to go down here and we want to get the PC application. Click download. Once it's downloaded, simply install it onto your computer. I'm not going to run through that because I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to install, download and install stuff. And if you don't, then there's plenty of videos that will show you to do that. So you download the PC application, install it onto your PC. Once it's installed on your PC, then what you want to do is you want to go to the Google Play Store and you want to download the SIM dashboard app onto your devices. So you want to download on, if you're using more than one device, you want to make sure you have the SIM dashboard on both devices. Now, SIM dashboard has a free version. I'm pretty sure in the free version you get American Truck Simulator, but you need the paid one for ETS2. So if you're going to do this on ETS2, you'll need the paid version. But the paid version is quite reasonably priced. I think I paid eight or nine dollars Australian for it. So in US dollars, it's probably about six bucks. And I'm pretty sure that's a lifetime. It might be a yearly one, but even so, it's cheap as chips. So Make sure you get the, the paid one if you want it. And it doesn't just do ETS2 and ATS. It does a ton of other games as well. Now, I do mean a ton, all right? So what we'll do is I'll, when, when I'm going through the setup of this, I'll show you how many different games. So it's not just for that game. So if you've got uh, racing simulators or whatever, you can also use it on those games too. So it's, it's not solely just for ATS or ETS2. Right, so now you've got, uh, let me turn this back on again. You've got your uh, SIM dashboard app on both devices. You've got it on your PC. All right. You then need to open up your uh, SIM dashboard on your PC. Go back to this. Let me do that. So, SIM dashboard. I haven't got any of my icons up, so I've got to do it through this way. You'll probably have a desktop icon. Click on SIM dashboard, and this will open up. Okay, main screen will be like so, and it will tell you uh, a little bit of info about it. 
and it will tell you what games are running at the time. As you can see, I've got American Truck Simulator running in the background. I hope you can see that. Anyway, then what you need to do is you need to set up your devices. Now, to set up your devices, there's uh, three or four things you need to do to do that. Let me do this first. Now, I've got mine already set up, but what I'll do to show you how it's done is I will delete this one. Yes, delete. And again, it's quite simple to do. So I'll delete this one, and I will then show you how to manually add the device. So you go over here, and you would then, well, sorry, the first thing you need to do is you need to find your device's IP addresses. And that's simply going into the settings on your devices, into network, and then checking what the IP is. And also, you have to make sure that your two devices or your one device, whatever amount of devices you're using, are both connected to the same network as your PC. All right. So if your PC is on network one, I'm just using one as an example, then both your devices have to be on network one. You get what I mean? I have the, my two devices hooked up via Wi Fi to the exact same. Uh, network as my PC. So that's the first and most important thing. You've got to make sure they are both connected to the Wi Fi or network, uh, even if it's uh, not Wi Fi, but it has to be connected to the exact same network as your PC. Once that's done, you have to make sure that your uh, SIM dash is activated on both devices or single device, whatever it is. So you have to have network connection. You have to have SIM dashboard connected and turned on, on or well, not connected, but turned on on your device. Then you need to find the IP address and then type in your IP address up here once you've clicked manual add. So in here, if I remember that rightly, see if I can remember it. 192.168.20.2, I think it was. And then you give it a name. I'm going to say 10 inch dragon there but there you go <laughs> 10 inch and you go okay so now it is hopefully connected so then you test your connection so you've entered all the details click test connection and it even says here to test the connection to the android device make sure that one the android device is turned on two the sim dashboard app is now running on the android device three that this pc and android device are connected on the same network. Very important. But it tells you all the information there as you do it. And you click test. And as you can see, everything is fine. Test was successful. So now it's connected. Now, once you've done that, you can then go in here to games. Now, as you can see in here, there are a ton of games that you can choose from. Mine are already set up and configured, but what you'll find, for example, I've got Dirt 3 here, which actually isn't on my computer at, at the moment. There's just remnants of it somewhere that the uh, game is, uh, the SIM dashboard are picked up. But then you'll click Modify Game Config for Telemetry. So you, you'll have a green or you'll have two red. Actually, no, you'll have anything at green means that the SIM dashboard is picked up that that game is installed on your computer, okay? And if it has a red uh, circle with an X in it, it means that it's not configured. So once it's, if it's not configured, which it won't be for you to start with, you just click Modify Game Config for Telemetry. And it is this quick. When you click it, it basically is then configured. It does it all automatically for you. You don't have to enter any code or anything like that. So just remember, if you've got any red circles, click Modify Game Config for Telemetry, and it will uh, modify it for that game. And then you'll have the two green uh, ticks, and you'll know that everything is fine. Now from there, on your devices, let's go back. Get with me. Okay, so on your devices, You'll now want to set up because you won't have what you'll see when you go, when you first start up. Let me do this. Is that 
you'll have empty design and it'll be number one probably. I've got number five because we've got five designs on here. And this is what you'll see when you first go to it. It will have an empty design ready for, the, for you to uh, edit or add anything to. So there's three little dots up in the corner. Click on that. Uh, sorry. You click on the pencil. Okay, and then a little red cross will pop up down the bottom. And you click on that. You click on Add Widget. And then it will bring you to this Design Browser. Okay, so I'll run through that again for you. So you've come in here. And you've clicked on the little pencil. You then click on Add Widget. And then your Design Browser comes up. And what I do to uh, find templates for what I want is I go to Community because there are designs here that are already set up by the community. And there are a ton of designs that you can choose from. And you can filter designs. I've got filters on at the moment. Uh, I've just got truck. Okay, so that I know that these designs are designed for trucks and therefore they will be designed for ATS and ETS2. So as you can see, I will try and do this. Hang on. Oh, this is I'm trying to do this without putting my hand in front of it for you. As you can see here, there are a ton of designs to choose from. And what you do once you've chosen a design, let's go with this one here. It's a Volvo one. We click on it. And it then sort of shows you a picture of what it's going to look like. And then we'll give you a little bit of a splurb. And it doesn't say anything there. But anyway, so that shows your design. You then simply click install. And as you can see, it's installing. Take a little while. You click tick. And now you can see it's installed. But um, as it's not actually, the game's not running. Even though the game is running in the background, I have to bring it up so that you can see. So what we'll do is, oh, I was going to show you the game, but it's the way I've got things set up, it's a bit of a hassle. But what I'll do is I'll go into the game, and you can believe me, I'm actually in the game now. And we will go into the truck. Hopefully, this isn't going to make me a liar, and things will work. Oh, yes, excellent. So I've just... Turned on the electrics of the truck, and as you can see, things started lighting up. So you know now, let's get rid of that, you know now that that is all connected. Now when I start the truck, you can see down the bottom here, that's your rev indicator. I don't know if you can actually see that on the screen. Hopefully you can. Put it in gear, it will drive away, and you should see that it will start showing the speed. It's also showing temperatures so it's that easy to connect so as you can see everything is working on that that's how easy it is all right hopefully that didn't confuse you now what we'll do is i'll do a quick summary now on exactly how to set it up again so that you're not confused all right so going back to where we were First thing you do is you need to go to, let me bring this up, you need to go to the SIM dashboard website, download the PC application, install it. Next, you want to go to the SIM dashboard on Google Play and install it onto your device. Okay? Very easy. Once it's installed, you then want to make sure that your device is connected to the same network as your PC. So once that's connected and you know that your devices are connected to each other, you then want to find out what its IP address is, write that down, so that you can then go back into the SIM dashboard and go to Devices and add your devices in here simply by going to manual add, write in the IP address, give it a name, click OK. Then you can go to test connection, click test connection, 
If it comes up okay, you know you've done everything right. Then go over here. Make sure that your games are configured. Right? If they're not configured, you'll get a not configured round red X. You then click on modify game telemetry and it will be automatically configured. And it takes a split second for it to configure because it's only a minor bit of code that it uses. It doesn't stuff up your game. There's nobody that's reported that I'm aware of that it's stuffed up the game. And if it does, it's because they've done something drastically wrong. I've been using this for years and it works fine. Okay, so you would get, go to the three dots and you would add your, it, an empty design if you've already got a design. If you haven't, you should probably come here and it will only have that anyway. Then go to your pencil then go back down to this little circle down the bottom, add widget. Community. Once your designs come up, choose your design that you want. Click on that. Hit install. Then it's installed and ready to rock and roll. Then you go start the game, check that everything's working, and you then know you're right. So if you have any questions about this, uh, maybe I've made it a bit confusing. If I have, I, I apologize. If you've, uh, it hasn't and it's helped you out, please let me know and hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do that because it helps me and uh, YouTube loves it. And also uh, share it with a friend if you know anybody that might uh, benefit from seeing how this was all done. And if you've got any questions in the comments below, not a problem, or on my Discord channel, and I'm only too happy to help you out. Okay, so hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you did, it's bye for now. We'll catch you in the next one.